National Annual Event called Election Day 1860. Very quickly to set the tone for this event. This is November of 1860. A mere 11 months ago, the abolitionist John Brown attacked Harper's Ferry trying to take federal weapons and start war on slavery. He was actually apprehended in the small building right here the Over fire in house, he was executed at the county court, excuse me, at the county seat seven miles from here. Now if we go forward in time, this is November of 1860, the scene here in the state of Virginia has greatly changed. And right before the Brown Raid, for example, this type of soldiers, and as many as you see here, would not be represented in this community. They did not expect an outside attack from a northern interferer such as John Brown. So as a response to Brown's Raid, the state of Virginia has passed legislation to gear up the war. And now weapons are being produced at the Richmond Armory are being passed out to soldiers such as these. Local women are holding fairs trying to raise money to put the uniforms in the backs of the soldiers. So all throughout the day, we remember back in Brown's Raid, and we just want to remember the fear that exists in the streets of this town is every time you look at one of these soldiers, they represent, represent the fear of the state of Virginia and the fear of this community. That's what they represent at this time. What's going to happen to their fate four months, four or five months down the road once this election takes place? Well, of course, um, if you were to listen to Abraham Lincoln at that time, he wants to be your new president. And his response to the slavery issue and to what John Brown did here is he said, John Brown is no Republican. He said the Republican Party is afraid that Brown would be associated with them and not liking slave labor. But Lincoln says he is no Republican. He may agree with us, as we do, that slavery is not right. But it can avail John Brown nothing that he might think himself right. Well, I ask you this. If John Brown is wrong, then who's got the answer to slavery in this election? John Brown does. Who stand here behind me from these different parties? Do they have the answer to how slavery will be handled in this very crucial election? I encourage you to look for the answers not only with these political electors today, but also with the citizens of Harper's Ferry and their remembrances of the John Brown Raid. I would like now to introduce to you the mayor of Harper's Ferry, the predecessor of our dear mayor that was shot down during the Brown Raid. Our new mayor is Mr. George Chambers, and he's going to introduce the electors today. Veteran Battalion, in place, press. Friends, Americans, Virginia. Quiet in the ranks. My first comment would be I would like to salute the wonderful militia companies that are represented here today. Uh, Why don't you join us? I'm captain of this company here. <laughs> today we have gathered for the important purpose choosing someone who will represent our community at the national level for President of the United States. We have three representatives here today. Each of those I will introduce to you now. First, I would present to you Mr. Albert Barber of the Northern Democratic Party. Next, representing the Whig, or I'm sorry, Constitutional Union Party, Mr. Andrew Kennedy. Thirdly, I would like to produce the Southern Democratic Party's candidate, a fine, upstanding citizen of Jefferson Crater. County, and a friend of you and me. Mr. Thomas Isbell.
see a display of the might of the state of Virginia. At this time, I will turn over the festivities to the militia commander for competitions and drill work. You're a part of it, sir. Attention! You will. That's your Battalion! Shoulder! Shoulder! That gives me a lot of confidence. Arm! Arm! Up to your shoulders.